Hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out Morph Verb from United Plugins. This is a brand new reverb plugin that has a number of different reverb algorithms built inside of it. You can see those algorithms labeled here in this sort of dial. And one thing that's really cool about this reverb is not only can I flip through these, right, by clicking, but I can actually mix between the two that are close to each other. So right here is going to be a mix between the plate and the chamber algorithms for reverb. And they all sound absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and listen to this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the vocal for a second. I've just got some piano coming in here. And while this is playing, I'm just going to flip through the different algorithms. Now, each one of the algorithms is obviously manipulated by all of these other parameters here. But for right now, let's just go ahead and listen to all of the different ones here. All right, so a lot to choose from there. And the fact that you can blend between any two of them is just going to add the variety that you can get. Now you can click to each one of these or you can just use the slider however you see fit. So if you want just plate, it's best just to go ahead and click the name of it. Also, it kind of goes from shortest to longest. Infinite is just gonna be almost like creating a pad sound. And there's also a cool one called Echoes. And I, before I jump into reviewing these other parameters here, I want to point out that I did use it on this vocal over here. So what I'm going to do is come back and turn on that vocal. I'm going to solo it and turn off the other reverb. You can see here I've got Morph Verb on two different return tracks. And I'm sending just the vocal to this second Morph Verb instance over here that I have on Echoes. And this is what it sounds like. Love hurts and you know sometimes. I can't help losing my mind. So it's just adding a little bit of echo there, and that in conjunction with a different reverb really, really brings it out and makes it shine as a lot of character. This is what the, it sounds like 100% wet. So using that with a nice lush chamber reverb is really, really awesome in my opinion, especially on vocals. So the parameters here, we've got a dry wet, which you can lock or unlock. There's the length, pretty standard stuff here. You have tone. And if I go ahead and solo this, and again, let's just make sure the piano is the only thing coming through. We can really hear the tone and effect. If you're looking at more subdued or more bright. There's also dampening, which is kind of like the same thing here. We've got low and high settings. And when it's up at max, the low frequencies will actually dissipate or decay faster. So if you have like low at max and high at minimum, you can expect a brighter sound or at least the higher frequency reverb to stick around longer. But if I flip that around, you can hear the low frequencies last longer. So it's just another way to control the actual reverb tail. Ducking, a really great feature all reverb should have, and it's built inside of Morphverb. This just ducks the wet signal out of the way when there's a dry signal present. This is very helpful for things like vocals, which you want to keep very clear when they're happening, and then let the reverb wash over it when the vocal isn't happening. Not only can you apply that up to 100%, which will completely remove the signal until the vocal is done, uh, you also have a time control, which is how quickly the reverb will come back in. And this is really, really cool. So you can have like a slow fade in or an immediate, almost immediate, 10 milliseconds, I believe that is, response once the vocal or the dry signal of whatever you're feeding into the reverb has stopped. There is a spectrogram here where you have a high pass and low pass filter to, again, further sculpt the sound.
And down here at the bottom are your advanced controls where you can either really spread out the stereo field or make it mono. There's also a pre-delay feature, which is really great for something like drums. And then we have the size, which is going to manipulate the size of the virtual room that's created. And this is going to be relative to the different reverb algorithms that you have loaded. Then you have modulation. There's also a saturation you can add to the reverb tail and compression. So all of these things combined give you a lot to work with. Got a ton of different presets inside of here with all of these different categories. Each one of these categories has a number of presets inside of it. And those are all the features available. You can right click anywhere and resize to a certain percentage, save a screenshot, check out the documentation, or disable GPU acceleration if you're having an issue, for example, with your computer. But I highly suggest if you can to leave this enabled, it's just gonna help speed things up and take the load off the CPU to give that to the program that you're using to create music. You can also just resize by clicking and dragging the corner right here to whatever size you want. There's also a 3D version. It's the same exact plugin, it just looks different. So here is the 2D version. And here's the 3D version, whichever one you like better. It's the one to use. You do have A, B capability. You can copy A to B, undo and redo, and the bypass feature up here at the top. Very simple plugin to use that gets really, really great results. Love hurts and you know sometimes I can't help losing my mind. Yeah. Love hurts and you know sometimes I can't help losing my mind yeah. Love hurts and you know sometimes I can't help losing my mind yeah. Love hurts and you know sometimes I can't help losing my mind yeah. Love hurts and you know sometimes Hopefully that gives you a good idea of the wide ranging capability of Morph Verb. I really, really dig the algorithm slider over here to be able to mix between the two. And that in conjunction with all of the other controls, you can really sculpt the sound that you're looking for in terms of reverb. Highly suggest checking it out. Links in the video description as always. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.